tell me that you think it's over and you no longer have a reason to stay here for. Oh, now that it's been a while since I've heard we talked on the phone. Just sit here tonight, thinking of you and coming home. Well, last night I talked to Billy, he said that you were doing fine. It seems like here lately, I got you more and more on my mind. I used to do this at Laura Rose Tavern in Springfield back in the 70s. But I wasn't hardly as sober as I am today. <laughs> Come do this for Clarence Kelly. I was up at his house a couple years ago and sung that song. Clarence said, my God, I like that. I can't wait to sing it again for him. <clears throat> then I gotta tell you all this. <laughs> Don't tell much on it. We, I took this idiot to Nashville, Tennessee with me. <laughs> And it'll never be the same again. No, it'll never be the same. We walk into the station here. He don't know nobody. And nobody knows him. Do you think that matters to him? Not that much. He walks up to these women. Stands there and says, I'd like to look you in the eye, but I ain't got to it yet. <laughs> That's the truth. He actually done that. And I thought, I hope they slap hell out of him. <laughs> Get up here and say. What did you say? <laughs> he actually done that. He might have told the truth. I don't know. <laughs> okay, it goes like this right here. <laughs> Today, the midnight oh, all over something.
tell that y'all really want to enjoy yourself, really want to have a good time, take Wilbur Carter someplace where you don't know nobody. <laughs> and one of two things will happen. You will come an instant hit of the party or they'll beat hell out of you and run y'all. <laughs> One of those two things will happen in beat <laughs> And sometimes I don't know which one it's going to be. <laughs> but I do like running around with you. We have a good time. Good time. 